This common brimstone is living in the best possible location, the safe, leafy garden of butterfly researcher Matthias Nuss. Out in the fields, the likelihood of a premature death would be far higher. Of the 125 species of butterfly documented here in the state of Saxony, 16 have disappeared, along with many other insects. That's very bad news. Alles. Everything we eat that's a major source of vitamins depends on insects as pollinators. So without pollinators, no food? Well, there are foods that don't depend on pollination, like meat, grains and rice. But they aren't full of vitamins. In some parts of Germany, insect populations have declined by up to 80%. And that means food for many birds and other insectivores has grown scarce. Farming's become very intensive. Habitats have disappeared. Fertilizers are used that are bad for insects. And then there are the pesticides. The aim is to squeeze as much yield as possible out of the soil. The head of the Regional Farmers Association tells me agriculture in Germany is focused on maximizing efficiency and dismisses concerns over insects. In my opinion, it's rubbish. The numbers of many species are always going up and down. That's true of insects, and it's also true of mammals. If those variations in populations are used to target certain groups of people in certain professions, I see that as shabby treatment. To find out what scientists think about the issue, I went to the Helmholtz Center for Environmental Research in Leipzig to talk to biologist Josef Settler. He's on the UN's Intergovernmental Science Policy Platform on Biodiversity and Ecosystem Services. He confirms that insect populations in Germany have declined sharply. It has a lot to do with land usage, farming, the way we use the land, and particularly with the spread of monocultures, plus the use of fertilizers and pesticides, which are of course important for farming. Farmers aren't trying to destroy the land or environment they depend on, to the contrary. Two-thirds of the 100 most important crops are pollinated by bees, butterflies or flies. Matthias Nuss says that means farmers themselves ought to be in favor of reforming farming practices. He has a collection of specimens of butterfly species that can no longer be found in the area. This is a process we have to stop. There are very good reasons for Germany to have a policy that promotes biodiversity. The goal is to stop any more species becoming extinct here by 2020, and even to reverse the trend. But we're further from that goal than ever. His collection contains specimens of the Danube clouded yellow. There used to be lots of them in Germany and Austria, but the insects' habitats have been destroyed in those countries, and now they're all gone.